Here's an example of some relatively poor research, not poor in the sense that uh, it's necessarily not showing skills, just poor in the sense that the authors that the students have identified for use on a presentation are not probably of a good quality. Remember that we need to find authors who are experts or can speak with some sort of authority on the topic. Now these students are interested in the hippie movement of the 1960s and found this article written in 2010 by Rose Seville. Remember our rule of thumb is that we need to identify, at the very least we need to identify an author so we can figure out who they are. Now if you click on this and you go and look at this article we find that there's uh, a lot of it's on a relatively uh, open access site. It's not an academic site written by the student or this person named Rose Seville. We don't know who that is and writes a rather uh, detailed article that looks like it can have a lot of information. Uh, it's not very long, however, and, and therefore not as that informative for the type of detail that we're going to need for these presentations. Uh, you'll note additionally that she's provided some sources. That's good. However, these sources are incomplete. We don't know who or where or, or how these were written. Uh, if we check some of these, uh, we look into this here, and it looks essentially like this. Well, first of all, it's, it's just poorly written. It's just one long continuous paragraph. Uh, it looks clearly like something either a graduate, uh, a, a college student, or a high school student has put together. Clearly not the work of academic historians or other experts on this topic. So who is Rose Saville? Uh, we can find out. We can look at, uh, click on if she's provided a name here. Uh, and we find out by looking at this that she is in fact a college student who has written on a variety of articles, everything from the hippie movements to Empire State Building. Um, if we go back and we do a bit of a Google search on her, let's see what else we can find out. Uh, we can find out uh, from this page here that uh, it's very likely she's a college student. Here again we find some of the articles she's written. And she's written a variety of things from phobias to breast cancer in males to the history of the peace sign to liver cancer. Uh, all sorts of different things. Clearly this student uh, is not a academic historian, um, however uh, knowledgeable she may be. Uh, and she's not, she's not provided good evidence of where she's gotten her information from. Therefore, this would be a poor subject, sorry, a poor article to use for our presentations.